We're going to go over the most simple way of using the generative fill option or generative expand option for the latest Photoshop 2024. And uh, that's about it. So I need this to be 1920 by 1080. However, I don't like the squareness of it. I want to expand these sides out up and down and make it 1920 by 1080. There's currently not an option that I've discovered where you can just create a separate layer uh, in a new file, for example, new and then do 1920 by 1080. Um, I can't just copy this image into this layer and then expand it from there. You have to do it separately. So hopefully that'll change. In the meantime, though, what you want to do is create a separate layer uh, of 1920 by 1080, assuming you want it to be an exact size like I do. If you don't, you just want to play around with it, then just do the first step. So the very first thing I'm going to do is kind of guess uh, the widths in the sizes. So uh, I'm going to, first you have to make sure your crop tool is selected. You want to make sure your layer is selected. You want to make sure it's not locked, uh, which happens. And if it is locked, normally just left clicking on just the lock button works. So now all you want to do is just left click once you've um, selected your crop. You want to left click and hold and then drag to the right for as long as you feel you need it. I feel I need it no more than this length and I'm going to let go. And now I can click generate or I can add words to help it understand what I need. I find it's not that smart yet. So I only add words if I really feel I need to and nothing has been working. So I'm just going to left click on generate. And it is doing its thing. Perfect. That's actually exactly what I need. Now, it also gives you options, though. You can see here, if I click the left-click the arrow, I can have some other options as far as what I would like. And I think I would like that one. Although I do see kind of a banding situation up in here. Yeah, so I prefer this one, actually. Uh, and that's it for that. So now I'm just going to do the other side. And I'll do it at pretty much the same length. Generate. Make sure you read the tips. They actually do have very good tips from time to time. Don't give Adobe feedback. They never listen to it. Okay, so I've got some options here. I don't like this glow. I want pretty much what I had on the other side. That's not what I would want. Ooh, and I really don't like that because you can see a, a banding thing. I could use a band-aid to fix that if I wanted to. I'm going to go with this one for now and just fix it later. And let's go down to the bottom. I don't need much. And the entire time, I'm just making sure that my crop tool is selected. And I'm just left-clicking on uh, the area and dragging it down. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit of a line. I like that better. Okay. Depending on your screen, you may not see all the details I can see, but it's okay. You'll know when you're doing your own. This is a good tip, but it should explain, it should give an example. Uh, this looks really nice. I wish the rest of it was like that. Okay, so let's zoom out here and see what we got. So this looks really good. Um, you can see that there's some sort of weird edge uh, to the whole thing. Uh, so I'm just going to actually merge everything because I'm a lazy Photoshop person. Uh, and see. No, that's fine. All right. So it's not perfect on each side, but I don't need it to be. I just need it to definitely fit into the 1920 by 1080. So I've just copied and pasted it. And I'm just going to uh, somewhat center it. And that looks pretty good to me. I'll get rid of this black area. Most likely I'll actually be even lazier uh, and just use this tool. So you want to use the uh, clone stamp in this case because it's really easy. But I'm making sure that my hardness is way down so I don't have any hard edge stuff. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much. Remember to like and subscribe. That helps me uh, do more videos. Thank you very much. Have a great week.